Whoa, time flies fast, but this 2018's memories are going to get captured in this video today. My channel started on 2018, May 30th, 2018, and so far I've spreaded so much and I've gone so much joy. This 2018 was a really good year and I'm looking forward for a better year next year. How about, instead of forgetting 2018 memories, we should capture, capture them in one video and look at them all. From the start of my channel to the start end of 2018. I hope you guys are having a wonderful 2018 and see you guys in 2019. School Tastic will air back up after New Year's. So then step two is add the rest of the problem, which gets you to an improper fraction, which is 22. Or Hey guys, so today we're back for another video, and today we're not doing anything math related, but we can clearly say that this is, oops, 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 this is it, right? Quantitative. I saw birds. Well, saw is technically a characteristic, you know, you saw something, so I guess kind of qualitative, because it doesn't use numbers. So the winner of series poll vote, April 11th, 2018 is are you guys ready drum roll please shout out whoa Woo! yeah let's do a little applause for that um hey guys verify my age yeah then my ages i'll give you what what age i am in the like what age period i am i am from the ages one month any this week, next week, because of some various reasons, maybe some nice reasons you guys find out later. If it's and one, wait, the other as well, sorry. The other also benefits. When I do live ones, um, I make mistakes. So today we're back and today I'm gonna be doing another Topic Tuesday video. So Topic Tuesday somewhat episode I don't really remember will be in the thumbnail and all that stuff. Now today's Topic Tuesday episode is how I edit my the two because the names are so similar. That's a big question, right? Well, here's a trick time. Quantitative and qualitative. If you write them down, if you look at the fourth letter of each of them, in the quantitative, there's an N. Think of that N as numbers. And the L just means for, it lost, there's no numbers. It lost all its numbers. <laughs> Another trick. Um, job to just click on the links. Everything will be linked down below that I've mentioned in this video. Um, including all the websites and everything. But anyways, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And I'll see you back on Sunday. Bye-bye. <laughs>
so long. Literally so long. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, you know, it's a nice Friday. Hope you guys enjoy your Friday. And yeah, anyways, let's get to the video. Um, So basically, the I made this today. Uh, it's a little different. Was, there, this one was short aside, but there was a lot of information to cover. And plus with um, Indus Civilization, half of the information was already covered. Um, So that was pretty much, it was a little shorter side, but it fit, um, I think... I got a lot of research, and I think I like this new behind-the-scenes technique where I relate. a really cool little surprise um yeah so first thing i do is I'm gonna go ahead and import the clip so i'm just gonna be importing a previous algebra video clip so yeah we'll be right back okay so when you have your clip i literally jump in right text effects i uh, know i mean there's king there's king go ahead and add key or twit and one glitch I have found, and just so warning glitch is, do not trim a clip when you have to keep put, like here on it. Uh, you put the entire clip on. You want to put the clip. You want to put the key on the clip, and then you trim where you want. It just for some reason doesn't work if you trim the clip and then you put a key on it. it kind of like to kind of see, you know, how does thing look and how is everything just generally how is everything looking and uh, i'm not a pro at this at all yet like i'm gonna be honest i am not so just bear with me in this video so the first thing i look at is the clip and i just usually watch a little bit of the video where i want to start to edit um and so a really cool tip for people who cannot get plugins after buying final cut sometimes you know you gotta save the money up you can actually just go to youtube and get green screen effects and this is how i have these really cool green screen effects um some are custom that are just made by me and then some are just fun because i am doing a science video soon and so i thought this moving earth was in my videos and i think it is very helpful um to be in khan academy and use this for your study bases you can see here I selected 7th grade um, stuff, which this isn't because I do have a personal Khan Academy account, and this one is just for school tastic. Um, and yeah, and you guys can definitely go ahead and check me out on Khan Academy at I school tastic if you wish for anything. Now I am I'm not so active on Khan Academy, but when I am, um, I think it's really helpful because. They sometimes give you a pre-test, they sometimes give you all these cool, or all these things, um, to kind of help, um, for you to get placed somewhere so they can give you lessons. And it just comes up, uh, and I think it looks pretty epic. You can go ahead and change the text, so I'm gonna say this is algebra, and then on the side right here, I'm gonna see, and so I'm not gonna really go too much over voice movie, uh, <laughs> voice movie, no, I mean, Voice overs. Now you guys know I had a watermark, and actually I'm gonna kind of explain the story why I had this watermark. I actually had this watermark due to I was straining with me's first episode, so it was a lot of things that I had to finish, which took some time. Second of all, um, I think the channel art is official. Um, I think it looks fine for now. Um, I am going for a new theme because I want everything to just be brand new and to start fresh again. Um, I love to track or whatever, but you can print this out, you can do whatever, and you can just kind of help you read. And um, I think this is helpful because I've used it before and it just makes life easier and you can kind of see if you got your reading in or not. Uh, I have made two copies of this. I have the um, colorful copy. Or I have the black and white copy, so it just kind of depends on you what you want. Um, <laughs> it's just, it's yeah, it's all up to you because like a lot of people don't want to waste ink if they're gonna print, and 
um, you can just do the black and white copy, even though we'll give you an option to do black and white, but just make your life a little easier and just print the black and white copy. And these PDF links were will not be down below in this video, but the video that these both are down below. Uh, the little, little, do you know, a software. Um, I was t telling everyone, I think, three or four videos ago that I was trying to get a new software that was a desktop because recently I love it's not like it feels like you're trying to practice something hard but you haven't uh, necessarily seen the hard problem so it's really hard for you to come up with it if you can't answer it um so it's definitely really helpful and you guys can check this pdf which will be linked down below and if you guys have any questions let me know um down below in the comments yeah <laughs> um and two equals three so you'd minus a two cross a minus two over here equals one x that would be the example right there uh, i'll probably just make the example a little more easier to read but that's the first thing so on this thing you're gonna also subtract the six because you can't subtract the 12 you out and see how it works and all that i don't know it's just fun for me um, but yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed these five tips. Um, everything will be linked down below. Maybe I'll just put the PDF links to the reading count too, just to make you guys have a real simple, 